Welcome to our tutorial video developed for UC Riverside student organizations who would like to create a business sponsorship package as an option for fundraising for the group. We highly recommend student orgs obtain business sponsorships primarily for the low effort it takes to create and the high yield it has in return. By the end of this training, participants will be able to define what is a business sponsorship package, conduct a needs analysis for your group, and apply knowledge learned to create content for a business sponsorship package. So what is a business sponsorship package? According to the Cambridge English Dictionary, a sponsor is a person or company that supports a person, organization, or activity by giving money, encouragement, or other help. Simply put, a business sponsorship package is a marketing technique used by organizations such as yourselves to increase the visibility or reputation of a business or company in exchange for recognition. Here we have created a four-step process to assist you in developing your package. Step one is to meet with your members and conduct a needs analysis for utilizing business sponsorships. A needs analysis is used to determine if there is a gap in performance, determine factors that cause the gap, and identify possible solutions to effectively perform a task. We recommend these conversations to be led by the treasurer, fundraising chair, and or finance committee. For the needs analysis, you want to address your desired fundraising goal for the group, this could be fundraising a minimum of $500 a quarter. Then think about what are the skills, knowledge, and behaviors needed to perform the task effectively. The next step is to assess the current performance of the group. You can do this by interviewing or surveying your members to determine performance levels. You now know your desired performance and current state of performance. Now. Describe any gaps, causes, and consequences of low performance. Questions to consider are members lacking the knowledge, skills, and proper feedback to complete a task? Or are they simply not motivated? All these questions should be answered. Lastly, you want to change your needs analysis to an action plan. Your plan should include solutions, recommended, any rationale, and proposed timelines. Be sure to evaluate the effort it takes to implement a plan, its effectiveness, and the sustainability of the solution. After your group has completed step one, now we're gonna get into what to include in the package. Step two is the packet content. The secret to creating a great business sponsorship package is using the five W's and one H formula. The who component answers the individuals who dispatch the communication, such as the org name, length of existence on campus, and mission and purpose statement. Who also addresses the target audience and the people benefiting from the potential sponsorship. What identifies the group's purpose for contacting the business or company? When lets the business know the date of your event and deadline to sit, submit monies and or items being donated? The location of the event answers the where component. Why states the reasoning for solicitating funds. And finally, how explains the benefit of becoming a sponsor and how the business can contribute to your cause. Quick review. Step one, you met with your members and conducted a needs analysis. Step two, you developed the packet content using the five W's and one H formula. Now that brings us to step three. What can you realistically offer a business? For this example, we use tier levels to designate the different types of sponsorship levels. For bronze level sponsors, their business name will be listed as a sponsor on all club flyers for the academic year. Silver sponsors 
will also have that in addition to an advertisement on your club's social media platforms. And gold sponsors will receive both of those incentives, plus the name of their business will be featured on the group's email footer as a sponsor for your club. You can offer anything practical and of course legal. The next example is what we call a menu item. The sponsor is permitted to pick their incentives from the list provided. So if a sponsor gives you $200, they can choose up to two incentives. For $400, three incentives, and $1,000, four incentives. Here's an example one page letter to a business sponsor. Now I want you to pause the video and see if you can pinpoint the five W's and one H in this letter and hit the resume button once you're ready. An audio clip will be linked in the description box below. This organization addressed the business by name, dear business name, and stated who they are, the Future Nurses Who Cares Association, what they need, which is monetary support to pay for lodging and travel fees, for what, for a conference, and to where, in Denver, Colorado, and how to contribute. And they mentioned the attachment form has more details. So kudos to you if you were able to locate the five W's and one H. A few formatting tips. Be sure to include the contact information, such as email address, phone number, organization name, and or contact person on your packet or in your packet. It would also be a good idea to include your group's logo. You are your brand, so take every opportunity to increase your visibility. Consistency is key. Make sure your fonts all match. And be creative. How will your packet stand out from the rest? For pre-existing groups, be sure to update your signatories for your off-campus bank account. Any new groups, be sure to watch the tutorial video on how to open an off-campus bank account. You will need an EIN and bank letter from the Office of Student Life. Be sure to emphasize to sponsors your group is a separate entity from the university. Use designations appropriately. Are you a nonprofit organization or a regular volunteer community organization according to the IRS? Most groups on campus are considered a volunteer organization. Lastly, step four is making sure you and your members do your part in this project. If something pops up and you're unable to complete a task, be sure to communicate that with the chairperson and each other. Communication is key. If you have any questions about this training, you can contact us at ucrlife at ucr.edu.